We'll get another check on your Sunday forecast. John Elliott talking about walking the dog before and whether or not some people may have gotten, you know, puppies as presents this Christmas. And you're right, you got to be responsible about right, that's those right. gifts. It's a tough gift. I mean, you mm -hmm. really got to do your homework. But I will say this. Working with Alice is like doing jazz. It's like back and forth. It's improvisational. She inspired me to look up some stats. Which state in the tri-state puts up their Christmas tree earliest and which state takes it down latest? I'll, I'll tell you in just a second. Right now in the city, it's 44. Winds out of the northwest at 28 miles an hour. So on Christmas Day, it was 52. It's 10 degrees above average. It's going to be colder than that today. And with the wind, you're definitely going to feel it. So on Christmas Eve, it was 40. So we found out that Alice, their family, and I love this tradition, they put the tree up on Christmas Eve. According to treetopia.com, it is a real thing. In New Jersey, the average is 3.8 weeks before Christmas. New York, 3.5. Connecticut, 3.3. New Jersey also leaves their tree up the longest, 3.3 to 2.9 versus 2.8. So New Jersey puts them up first and takes them down last. 25% of Americans admit to judging others for taking down their tree too late. Fun fact, 42% prefer white lights, not Christmas lights. Ooh, and look at this, magic green paper. I probably shouldn't use green paper for my little notes, but thank you for inspiring me. I didn't know all this stuff. So much knowledge about Christmas trees. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, but the bottom line is keep watering it. If you have a live tree, God bless you. Hope it was beautiful. Just make sure it's safe if you're going to keep it up to 3.3 weeks that the average people do. That seems long. All right, so it's nice and quiet right now. I'm sure we'll get calls. Um, we'll have a few uh, lake-enhanced snow showers upstate. But not a big deal for us. We see an organized system coming on board tomorrow, and it's a relatively weak. Brighter and breezy today. More chances through the week. Again, late tomorrow and then late Tuesday. And it's, it's these, no day is, is, is a washout start to finish, but each day is a little bit busy. Temps stay above normal overall. Tomorrow, in fact, the only day where we could see some winter precipitation. New Year's Eve right now looks okay. New Year's Day will change again. And then sun, a week from today, we could be dealing with some showers, so make sure you're ready for that. So the European model, this is this long-range model. This brings in a little bit more, it's a little bit more aggressive with the possibility of some snow five, for maybe 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then there will be some mixing. Again, not a lot of available moisture, so roadways will likely just be wet. Could be slippery. Th then it's Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. See how this is working out. And then it's Thursday is fine until Thursday into Friday is okay. And then for the New Year's Day, it's relatively quiet. But this is interesting. Saturday night, if that's party night, make sure you're ready for that. And then Sunday into Monday, a week from tomorrow, we could be dealing with the possibility of some snow. So I want to stress, no day is a whopper, no storm's a whopper. But later tomorrow, late Tuesday into Wednesday, late Wednesday into Thursday, Friday okay, watch for clouds to fill in on your Saturday. Fascinating tree stats though, right Alice? And here's another one for you. I think one year we kept it up till February. And I'm talking about a real tree, not an artificial one. God bless you. I love that. <laughs> Thank you for those facts. That was uh, fascinating. Thanks, John.